Hi, I'm Teresa Sigmund, founder of Seam Sensational and creator of Sew Like a Pro. In this training video, I want to share with you what I'm going to do to alter this dress so that the owner feels like she has a new dress without the expense of that. So I originally made this in 2008 and she's worn it fairly regularly since then. But she just turned 70 this year, and despite the fact that she has really awesome legs, she feels like this really steep, sexy cut is a little bit much for her age, and she wants to do something a little more conservative. So, what we talked about doing is going in and cutting off the skirt and making it so that she could wear two different skirts with it. So she will literally be able to wear this for both Latin and standard from now on as opposed to just wearing it for her Latin. As you can tell, really high cut on the sides and it has the same line in the back. Now we've, we're going to keep everything up here like it is and I have had to add a strap up here. She's put on a little bit of weight since last time I tried it or since I initially made it for her and so it's starting to fall off her shoulder just because the dress wants to shift since she's a different shape. So I've had to add a strap back here, which is not a big deal because it matches well and it's camouflaged by all these really cool diagonal lines. Also, she got really tired, not that I can blame her, of having the really hard knock on wood <laughs> ballroom dance cups. So we're sewing in a bra and then I'm gonna go ahead and cut that off of the back, which will be great. I have begun the transformation and I've actually got her fabric and am ready to cut that out. So I will give you a little sneak preview as to what's going to happen. Both points on her skirt are going to be cut off. It's essentially going to become a little micro mini. And in doing so, I am then going to be able to make those two skirts that slip right up underneath between the leotard and the dress so that nobody will ever know that one, this was originally the pointed skirt, you know, of course, her fellow dancers that go to her studio and her teacher will know, but they're going to go, holy cow, this is, a, this is a new dress. So she will. It will end up just being a little micro mini with the two skirts slipping right underneath that. This is one of the advanced sewing things to be able to make two separate items because it's, it's extra work. But the great thing about investing the time in that extra work is that you can then change out and make detachable, removable skirts. But that is all I want to share with you for this right now. I'll go away, work a little magical transformation and come back and she will have two new skirts and a whole new look. All right, all of the work has been completed and what used to be a sleek Latin skirt has now been turned into a cute little fluffy thing that as she's dancing will have lots and lots of action. So this is skirt number one. And really I just took the angle of the skirt and made it mimic this shape on the side where it's completely open. I was like, mm, okay, what are we gonna do with this? So the skirt is ever so slightly angled just because it kind of goes with all the rest of the angles on the dress. So they're slightly different lengths. Now, if you wanted to be really daring, you could of course split this all the way up to where the velvet starts, to where the dress starts. That would be super awesome. This particular lady is going for a more modest look at this point in time. And then she was also on a very tight budget. So in lieu of putting several rows of rhinestones underneath here, which would be awesome. I love like little rows of hidden rhinestones because when the skirt flips up, you get a great flash of color. So instead of doing that, I have curtain weight in here all the way around the bottom. So that is a really economical tip for those of you who want a great Latin skirt without having 
you know, to put a bunch of money into the rhinestoning. So there you go. Now, if you don't want a ruffly look, a fringe skirt would be awesome here. Like just sort of, not like straight line fringe, something that's sort of jaggedy, like a shag haircut. <laughs> That would be so fantastic on this. So I did propose that to her and said, well, if you're gonna keep dancing Latin for another year or two and want a third skirt, super easy to be done. Ta-da! We have standard floats, which if you can ignore the lovely measuring stick arms, <laughs> this gives you a really great idea of what this dress looks like when it converts into a standard gown. This is the back. I've got the floats attaching at different points. The really great thing about floats is that you can do whatever style you like. Um, big ones, small ones, floats tend to um, be very variable in that you can quite often do any size float and it will still be okay fashion-wise. Every now and then there'll be a trend where floats will all be really skinny and tenderly or sometimes floats are always huge but for the most part floats are a lot like latin skirts in that you can do pretty much any shape or size that suits your taste. There is nothing wrong with however you do it which is awesome. They do have a standard float um, program of course that teaches you how to make these detachable and gives you several different styles. And you like that? Instant rotation. So there you go. Here is the float on this. She wanted something really simple and classic to go with the simple classic skirt. Now because this particular lady does both American Smooth and International Standard, she wanted a float or she wanted a skirt that was really simple and classic and would not necessarily go out of style. So that's what I have given her here. It is a simple two layer skirt. Now she can wear this dress just as an American gown with horsehair braid, or if you're overseas, known as crinoline, in the hem. And it's just really nice and classic. I love this iridescent chiffon on top. It is polyester, of course. You want to avoid silk, if at all possible, because it just wrinkles like a bear and you will be hating the maintenance required on that. Spin that around for a side view and a back view. So there you go. She can wear this with both. It's very elegant. It flows really nicely. Now. Um, my suggestion, if you are doing just standard, make the volume of the skirt whatever is current for what the fashion is, as well as what fits into your budget. Of course, if there's yard, you know, lots and lots and lots more fabric, yards or meters more fabric, that's going to raise your budget. So depending on what you, you know, what works for you, then do the volume that is current for your fashion style. But this is just a really simple double layer fluted full circle, detachable of course, slips right off. And that is it. Um, if you want to know more about that, just go to the program, go, you know, hop online and get the detachable skirt program. I'll teach you how to do this. I have several skirt options for you in there. And that is it. Thank you so much for joining me yet again for another free training video. I love teaching you how to do these things that make give you a bigger bang for your, your dollar value. And I love being able to do this for my clients as well. So that is it. Thanks for joining me and thanks for joining the Sew Like a Pro team. And I will see you again in the next training video.